Hey guys, it's me again. Today we're going to do part 3 of my list. So if you want to find out what edges I choose for number 6, 5, and 4 spots, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Number 6. Chesapeake in Ohio number 2716. This powerful 4284 Berkshire, or Kanawa as it's actually pronounced, was built or by was built by the American Locomotive Company in Schenectady, New York, for the CNO. Oh, it would stay in service until 1957 when it was retired. Ire. And since the CNO, the CNO decided to donate the 2716 to the, to the Kentucky Railway Museum. Um, Becoming one of 12 of Kanawa, Kanawa's to make it into preservation. In 1979, the, the 2716 was leased by the Crunchfield Railroad to run for their steam excursion program. But sadly, the plans to return the locomotive from the Crunchfield got cancelled when the, when the, when the Seedboro Airline bought out the railroad. Fortunately, the 2716 was purchased by the Southern Railway and moved to their Irondale o o Steam Shops in Birmingham, Alabama for restoration. In 1981, the CNO Kanawa emerged in a new dress at Southern 2716. The, the engine wasn't just fully restored to operating condition, but, but it also has some cosmetic changes to what, a to what a Southern Berkshire would have looked like if the Southern had purchased one new. Ooh. It's tender or was a mer was a merge of, of freight and passenger liveries and the and the engine got a center headlight with a brass eagle on top on the small box door. When when the twenty seven sixteen entered excursion services on the on the southern and she put a, on a, a magnificent show. Oh, but sadly Southern's new superstar was start, was starting to have problems. As 2716 developed a crack in her firebox, in her firebox, which had literally dampened her performance, and so the Kanawa got sidelined, and Nickel Plate Road 765 was called as a, was called in as, in as a replacement. Following the merger of the Southern Railway and in the Norfolk and Western to create the Norfolk Southern Railroad, the 2716 was retired in favor of Norfolk and Western or 611. Fortunately, the story doesn't end there, though. The 27 in, in the 1990s, it was leased by the Fort Greene Rural Historical Society to be, to be a running mate to the 765, to, to Nickel Plate Road 765. The Fort Greene crew solved the firebox issues and used the locomotive on a few excursions out of Logansport, Indiana for a little while. But sadly, the newfound stardom wasn't to last, as it was found 2716's flues were close to expiring. At this point, the Four Queen crew had a tough decision to make: it was either rebuild the 765. They, they can either they is 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 they can either do a full rebuild on the 765 and get and get a light new locomotive out of it, or install new flues in 2716 and keep her running. In the end, the decision to rebuild the 765 was a be, was the best course of action. For the Fort Queen Rural Historical Society, the twenty seven sixteen was shipped home to the Kentucky Railway Museum, and and put on static display. Fortunately, the engine won't be down for long. When the when the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation, or Kishko for short, acquired the locomotive from the museum, that they were going to restore twenty seven sixteen for excursion services. At the time of this recording, in the twenty seven sixteen has. Is being restored by the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation. The restoration is is expected to be completed uh, it, it by 2021 if all plan, if all all work is planned. Number number five. Nickel Plate Road number 587. This mighty U.S. Surrey Light Mikado was built was built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the former Lake Erie and Western Railroad as number 5541 but renumbered to 587 
when the Lake Erie and Western had merged into the New York, Chicago, and St. Louis Railroad, better known as the Nickel Plate Road. The engine would be would, would be in service on would, would continue its career on the Nickel Plate until its retirement in 1953. In 1955, it was it was donated to the city of Indianapolis and put on display at and, and put and put on display at a park. The engine was in a 1993 in a 1983. The things would begin to change for the better when the city of Indianapolis was looking to build a new library, but the only place was where the 587 was displayed. A group known called Friends of 587 took an inspection of the locomotive and it was in, in very good mechanical condition for restoration. 587, and so 587 was taken to the Indiana Transportation Museum shops for restoration. She was finished in, 1980, in 1988 and began pulling train excursions in, in, in. It also it, and, it, and yeah, it started pulling excursions for the Indiana Transportation Museum. It also worked for the Norfolk Southern Steam Program. In in 1980 in 1989, it led a double head a triple header with Norfolk and Western locomotives 611 and 1218, as part of that year's National Railway Historical Society convention. In 1993, it led a a, a double header with Nickel Plate Road O number 765 mentioned earlier. Er, to to that year's National Railway Historical Society a convention. Number 587 also played a role in the movie Old, Old 587, The Great Train Robbery. Unfortunately, the engine wouldn't... and it, it would stay in service until 2003, where it had to go through its 15-year rebuild. In 2006, it, the, it, they, they required the, the ITM to move their equipment before or July 12th. Oh. And so the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation made a deal with, the, with ITM to locate number five to relocate the 587 before the deadline. And and 587 was taken to Ravenna, Kentucky. As of today, the locomotive is, is, is disassembled and is in storage awaiting a 1472 day overhaul at the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation at, at the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation in Ravenna, Kentucky. The, the restoration of 587 will start once ITM has enough funds for, for the restoration and once 2716 is complete. So hopefully 587 will be able to steam again. And, and soon. Number 4. Number 4. Grand Trunk Western number 6325. This four, this powerful 484 Northern was built only in 1942 by the American Locomotive Company in Schenectady, New York, for the Grand Trunk Western. 6325 was used to pull heavy freight aid and passenger trains un, until its retire in un, until its retirement and until its retirement in 19 in, ni, in 1959. It was then put on display a at some in in Michigan, it's somewhere in Michigan, and which I don't remember. Sorry. Yeah. So it was donated it to that park, and in 1993, he, Jerry Joe Jacobson purchased the locomotive and, and moved it into the to its Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, Ohio. The engine stayed in storage until 2001, when the restoration work efforts began. And it was completed in the same year, and it started pulling excursion, and it started pulling excursions on the Ohio Central. The sixty-three twenty-five also did started pulling ver in many excursions on the Ohio Central, including a in side by side sides and double headers with former Canadian Pacific four six two number twelve ninety three. It would stay in service until two thousand and seven, and where where it had to go through. Which is currently undergoing a, in in roller bearing repairs. As of today, sixty three twenty five is at the age of is on stack display at the age of steam roundhouse, awaiting a fourteen seventy two day overhaul and its overhaul before it can operate again.